For people constantly on the go or for parents juggling multiple responsibilities, finding a work-life balance is tricky. Well, a recent survey revealed that almost all Americans look for food options with a longer shelf life so it's available for cooking convenience. And at least once a week, frozen foods have bailed out almost four and five parents during last minute what's for dinner conversation. So here to share more with us during National Frozen Food Month, we have Chef Jamie Gwynn. Jamie, great to see you. Thanks for joining us today. And thank you for having me back. Happy March Frozen Food Month to you. So Jamie, what's most important to families when deciding what's for dinner? Oh, the quintessential question, what's for dinner, right? I love a statistic, so if you don't mind, here goes. According to a recent survey by the National Frozen and Refrigerated Foods Association, 73% of parents with a child under the age of 17 living at home, I am one of those parents, say that the time after school and before dinner is the most hectic time in their household, and I would agree. So the challenge of getting dinner on the table is universal, and frozen foods are convenient. They help simplify meal prep. I am a professional chef that embraces the frozen food aisle because my prep work is done for me. There's no peeling or chopping and it saves time in the kitchen. So with March being frozen food month, it's the perfect time to stock up, try something new. There's lots of special deals at your local grocer right now. How do you think frozen foods can help in healthy meal planning? Very important. Uh, it's interesting to me that the question comes up often, how healthy is frozen food? It's real food, it's just frozen. Today's technology is better than ever. The food is flash frozen, which means it's picked, like let's say these Brussels sprouts, at the peak of freshness and flash frozen to lock in all the beneficial nutrients, right? So it stays fresher longer, it provides a longer shelf life, there's ultimately less waste, and it makes frozen food truly the best value at the market. But it's not just the prepared foods like the pre-made meal that you might find in the frozen food section today. There are ingredients that you can use for prepping a dish that your family knows and loves that I find amazingly convenient. And a lot of these frozen products are being developed by expert chefs and they're all made with real ingredients. So how does the frozen food aisle evolve and innovate? Sure, um, I actually think it's a very progressive industry. So the demand for delicious quality choices with convenience, no matter your diet or lifestyle is being met by frozen food companies. There is something for every dietary lifestyle need. If you're vegan, if you're plant-based, if you're gluten-free, if you're organic. And if you want to eat from around the world, let me tell you, delicious Indian dishes, like a, a recipe with 37 ingredients I wouldn't otherwise make on a Tuesday night, I can sit down and indulge in tonight. Uh, there's really an incredible breadth of products in the frozen food aisle and there are unique ingredients and there are foods that are on trend and it is a wonderful way to try something new. Do you mind sharing with us some new recipes to help us all plan cost effective meals using, you know, things we already have in our freezer? You've got it. This is my newest inspiration to share. So we'll start at breakfast. This is a brilliant brec breakfast board, I think. Uh, you can get the morning started off right. It feeds a crowd. I like it because I set it down on the table and my family rejoices and pour myself a second cup of coffee and I get to relax, right? It's all the heat and eat options in the frozen food aisle. So my son's favorite strawberry pancakes and multi-grain waffles and sausage and biscuit sandwiches and breakfast burritos and you can put it on a board or a platter or a doesn't matter, right? Then you add some fruit strewn throughout. And I like to make it personal with a couple of homemade sauces. I do a chipotle sauce for the spice lovers and a berry infused syrup using frozen berries for my son. And everybody just sits down and loves it. Now, this is a weeknight wonder, if I may say myself, because my family loves it. I love a potato cheese pierogi, but I like it better when you roast some caramelized onions on a sheet pan, then add the pierogies, then add some frozen Brussels sprouts. And I'll tell you, this is a one pan genius. It tastes so good. 
This is my Mediterranean inspiration. Cauliflower gnocchi, turkey meatballs, and a creamy tomato sauce. It's really comforting and delicious. And the leftovers are fabulous. And it's less time in the kitchen, more time around the table. Now, this is my newest addiction. This is my go-to lunch. So I take my favorite orange chicken and I put it in a lettuce wrap. I add some veggies. I add a homemade Asian sauce from my pantry and some scallions. And I have an orange chicken lettuce wrap that comes together in no time. Last but not least, a sweet treat. This is a blueberry trifle. It's a make-ahead dessert using frozen berries, frozen pie crust, and creamy whip topping. And it's perfect when dinner is done. You just grab it from the freezer, but the leftovers for breakfast are almost better. So new inspiration to cook from the freezer aisle. All right, so where can we go if we want to learn more and for a chance to win that $10,000 worth of prizes? Yes, $10,000 sweepstakes on now for March Frozen Food Month and all of my recipes shared at easyhomemeals.com, easyhomemeals.com. Chef Jamie Gwynn, thanks for talking with us on Studio 3. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got several good ideas just listening to her I, and seeing what she had. I there. love to hear from Chef uh -huh. Jamie Gwynn because she's just like totally rethought the frozen mm -hmm. food aisle mm -hmm. um you know because i think the pandemic i now again i'm no expert mm -hmm. but i think the pandemic kind of changed our habits in the sense that um people were obviously cooking in more right and now trying to make ends meet and trying mm -hmm. to shrink that budget a little bit yeah frozen food i mean you can get a lot of bang for your buck you really can right. and you don't lose the flavor no just kind of mix in some seasoning and mix in some other mm -hmm. items there. Um, and it's a great way to get dinner started. It is. Makes it easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, whether it's morning, noon, or night, open the box.